Hello everyone, Jonathan Rajandur here, and today I'm going to give you a tutorial going over all the various stats and ship systems and things of that nature found on your ships. So, it's going to be a little bit of a long one, hopefully I've got the stamina to uh, get through it all. And we'll just get right to it here, starting with the basics of right side here. I think uh, at first your hole. This is how much you think of it as your health, your HP that you have. Once this reaches zero, your ship explodes and it's game over. Cargo is how much space you have in your cargo bay here. Uh, let's see. Troopers is how many troopers you can have on your ship for uh, boarding purposes. Speed is how fast you move baseline. You can increase this by putting power to engines, using the power to engines flight mode, and uh, one of the equipment. And maneuverability is how quickly you can turn in, looks like, radians per second. Well, that's all that people probably generally know, so... And you probably notice a little glitch there. I'll get to why that happened in a moment. Uh, next we're going to get to probably the more confusing portion of the stats, the resistances. Now, you've got energy, projectile, and plasma. These are the resist primary weapon types against your shields such as energy will, on this ship, for right now, reduce my shields to take 30% less damage from beam weapons, or any energy damage source. I've got projectile here, which is the same, only for rake rail guns, and then plasma for plasma cannons. EMP is my resistance to EMP damage, which is a special damage type that damages only your shields. And radiation is resistance against another special damage type, which is a damage that goes through your shield and damages only your ship's hull. Now, this last stat is a very special one. Soak. You can call this your sh your armor, or your hull's armor. What this stat is, is how much damage is absorbed by your hull before it takes actual damage to its health pool. So like I've got 9% here so if I were hit by a weapon that did 100 damage, 9 damage would be negated immediately before any damage was transferred to my hull so I'd only take uh, 80 or 91 damage. Now, soak is something that ships don't have baseline. You have to get it through achievements and officers. I don't know how much you can get max. I've never actually gone through to find where those people are, where all those officers are, so... But you can get it to be a pretty high number, and it can prove invaluable in combat. Now, for systems, I've picked a Freya here because she has every system available and we're going to quickly uh, go over those. you got the hangar bay which is where your wings, fighter craft hang out. Uh, carriers, dreadnoughts, and battleships can all have hangars. There's some lower class ships that can but not many. Uh, you got the grappling hook. This is what allows you to grapple the enemy. Stats there uh, the range is obviously how far in the in-game units it can reach. The overload is a percentage chance. I think it might be per second to deal damage to your enemy's shield. Sensors. Uh, I, I mean, most of these are going to be fairly obvious what they do, so I'm basically just going to go over what some of the stats are, which might be a bit confusing for some people. Uh, the radius is how far in in-game units it can see. 
and the detection is a chance to detect stealthed objects in the your radius. As you can see, I've only got a 20% to detect stealth ships. Shields, the uh, strength is how much shield health you have overall on each shield from starboard, port, and aft. And the recharge is the recharge rate of these shields. And the reboot timer is how long it takes for the shields to come back online after they've gone down. So like if my shields got taken down on one side, it would take 9 seconds before they would come back up and start recharging. The uh, biometric percentage there is to help prevent people from transporting on board your ship. And the uh, firewall percentage is a chance to uh, prevent that system from getting hacked and shut down. Uh, power core. This is how much power you have for your skills and your cloak. The recharge is how quickly it recharges. It would be for me right there 1.2 per second. And I think the feedback is a chance for the enemy ship to take damage when they try to hack that system. I can't swear to that because I've never even noticed that stat before now myself, so sorry for that one there. Uh, propulsion, you've got speed, that's how fast you move. Acceleration, how quickly you can get up to your uh, max speed. And power to engines, which is how long it takes for your ship to fully get go into power to engines mode in seconds. Transporter, you got your range there, which is how far away you can s transport ships or your troopers to. And incidentally, how far away or how close you have to be actually to uh, collect cargo from uh, collectibles in space. Capacity is how many troopers you can send over in one go. And the deflection is a chance to deflect transporters from enemy ships. Finally, you've got Cloak. The uh, Strength is the chance to not be detected. And the Stability is a chance to sh uh, fire while you're still cloaked. In other words, your cloak won't drop while you're firing. Now, the interesting relationship between Cloak Strength and Cloak Detection is it's basically, I've got a 90% chance baseline here to not be detected. Now, if the enemy ship had a 20% chance to detect, that would lower my detection, to, or my strength, technically to 70%, meaning that they'd have a 70% chance to actually see me. So you basically just take your strength, subtract the uh, detection, and that's your effective uh, cloak strength. One moment, I need a drink. Sorry. Okay. Now, these systems here, I went over them first because these are permanent systems. You cannot change these on your ship. However, you can apply what are called enhancements, which you can buy at any station and do various things from, well, basically just they enhance the system. Like the uh, one I've got on my cloak here is a Shenzhen 2 and it makes my cloak harder to detect and increases my stability. Uh, I'll anchor at a station to show off more about enhancements, but first I want to get through the systems I'm sure most people are more interested in, your weapons. These you can change out, and they've got quite a number of stats to go over. So let's start with the... Actually, I see one problem here. I think I have to dock at a station to see what I want to see. Uh, 
yes, okay. So, this is a light weapon slot. As you can see, I've got a Ripper 3 uh, equipped into it. Now, the average damage is how much damage is done per shot. The rate of fire is... Now, this is the one I've seen confuse some people. Most people are used to a system where the higher the number, the faster it shoots. But this game actually shows you the interval in seconds between shots. So it takes 0.3 seconds for me to get one shot off. So on this ship, in one second, I would get... It looks like... 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0 0.9, around three shots off a second. Just uh, technically a little more, but you'd kind of have to round up, basically, unless you wanted to go for, do it over a greater period of time. But oh, per second, it'd be like three shots per second with change. Um, the energy cost is how much battery energy it costs to use that weapon. The range is how far it can shoot. The battery energy is how much uh, energy your ship has in that uh, turret slot to shoot with. Now, I'm noticing that there's a stat missing here, and that's uh, battery energy recharge. So I'm going to quickly bring up something that We'll show you what that is, that stat. This is, by the way, one of the in-game ship files. And each ship has a stat called Battery Energy Recharge, which in this ship file is called Weapons Power Refill. This stat is how quickly the weapon recharges its battery energy. And the downtime is how long it takes for the ship's uh, battery energy to start recharging if you deplete it fully. In other words, you never want to deplete your uh, turret completely of its energy. Otherwise, you might have to wait in upwards of 10 seconds before it'll actually start recharging again. And then finally at the bottom there you see turrets. And that's how many turrets you can have on that ship in that slot. It's so, like, I can have five turrets mounted in this slot. Now you can only have one type of weapon in one mount, so I, so I can't, you know, like, mix five different weapons into uh, that front slot there. But I can have up to five turrets. And then with heavy weapons, you got the average damage, the reload time, and that reload time again is in seconds, so it takes 13 seconds for this weapon to fully reload. How much ammo you can have in that heavy weapon slot. The range and the blast radius in the game's in-game unit system. Now, <clears throat> finally down here in wings you can see, uh, I think these might be a little bit bugged, because I don't think I've ever seen a ship with actually 14,400 fuel. But that shows you your sh basic uh, wing stats, like these fighters here. Take some, I, I think they have 120 fuel. It takes them 7 seconds to launch after returning. They do 30 damage a hit with their weapons and Five of them come out at a time. Now, one thing you're noticing here, probably, is remove turret and add turret buttons. These are fairly important. Now, you can easily take away from the number of turrets you have equipped in a slot, reducing it to one. And you can add turrets. Now, adding turrets costs money. The higher rank a ship, the more money it will cost to add a turret. Now, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the enhancements here. Let me see if I can find some that will actually, uh... Okay. Now, this one you see, it's got light weapon accuracy. This improves your chance to hit enemies. Shield damage increases the damage done to an enemy shield. And then additional EMP damage. This is one that is a bit confusing. 
what that does is it takes a percentage of the damage your weapon does, in this case 10%, changes it to EMP damage, and adds that to your total damage. In other words, I would be doing 210 plus an extra 10% of that as EMP damage. So I do 210 damage straight to the ship, and then an extra 10% of that as EMP damage to their shields. Now there's one that does the same. Nah, does the same for your uh, for radiation damage. Only with this damage, it's done over time. It'll do like 30% of 210 damage over time as radiation damage to the uh, enemy's hull. Uh, mostly these are things that are preference. People all have their own preference. Some of them will increase for light weapons, your battery energy recharge. Some will increase damage overall. Um, accuracy, rate of fire. I mean, there's just a whole slew of things that you can choose from. And then heavy weapons have basically the same thing, only they get a, ones to reduce reload time. And fighters, you can get some to increase the damage of your wings and allow them to launch faster, give your fighters higher HP, things like that. I mean, I don't know if I can really go over all of these because <laughs> there's just so many. But one thing I will tell you is one way to know that you have an enhancement equipped is this little square right here. Well, diamond I guess is a pr more proper term. <laughs> so that lets you know you have an enhancement equipped and you can just hover over that and I'll show you which one you are currently using. Let's see here. My brain has completely dropped on me, so give me a moment. <laughs> so many things to go over. I forgot just how many stats and things there are. Oh, right. That's one thing I wanted to go over, too. That's what it is. Next, I'm going to show you the ranks. As you level up in this game, you gain ranks. Every five levels is a new rank, and with each new rank comes a new class of ship. Now to show you this, I'm going to show you another in-game file here. Let me just get it open. Here we go. These are the in-game ranks. As you can see, there's 15 of them going all the way up to Fleet Admiral. And there is Apprentice, Mate, Petty Officer, Chief Petty Officer, Master Petty Officer, Ensign, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Commander, Commander, Captain, Commodore, Rear Admiral, Vice Admiral, Admiral, and Fleet Admiral. Now, <coughs> sorry. Most ships have a, uh, in fact all ships have a rank requirement to pilot them. And if you don't meet that requirement, you won't be able to fly that ship. You can put it in your garage, but you can't actually ever be on that ship until you've achieved the rank to pilot it. In fact, I've got a garage here with some different ranks of ships, like gunships. The first ships in the game only require apprentice. Dreadnoughts are lieutenant commander, and carriers require you to be a commander. Ah, uh, yes, let's go over the perks as well while we're at it. There's a, uh, as well as uh, gaining a rank every five levels, you gain a perk, and these perks will passively enhance your abilities. Starting with Merchant, increasing your how much you can sell stuff for. Hawkeye, 
Uh, most of these are actually fairly self-explanatory if you hover over them. So I'm just going to not explain all of them. I'm sorry. If there's one you need explained, just let me know. I will make another video going over this section more thoroughly. But as a, there's a lot of stuff in stats, and it's a lot to go over. I'm trying not to make this video too long for you guys. But I think that's really the gist of all the stats in the game. I've probably missed some because... Again, I don't script these tutorials out. This is all off the cuff for everyone. Um, yeah, I believe that's all the stats in the game that I can remember right now. I could swear there was more I was going to talk about with this, but I have forgotten it, so I will go ahead and call this video here for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave them on the uh, Steam forums or in the comments below. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll try to make another video soon once I think of something else to cover. I'll probably go over... There's still plenty of things. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, hope everyone has a good one, and hope this video helps shine some light on a few things for everyone.